So, a very quick unboxing of this uh, Handsbury HT225, it's a 21.5 inch uh, touch screen monitor. Uh, reason we're trying this is because uh, the current X-Plane setup that I've got, uh, we've got three monitors for the main display. Uh, we've got two other monitors on a separate PC which I am using uh, Pilot to ATC and uh, uh, SIM toolkit on uh, as required. Uh, we've got uh, four uh, iPads for touch screens, but they're really not big enough for certain things. Uh, certainly, the Zebo uh, mod uh, plane is, uh, yeah, it's the, the controls are just not big enough on the sort of 10 inch screen. So, trying this. Uh, maybe with their manager on uh, one of the PCs and we'll see what we can fit and what's comfortable. I uh, had a good old look around, this is a high definition uh, monitor, quite good reviews uh, but how it's going to perform with X-Plane is the main thing. Okay, so what have we got? We have a HDMI cable, we have a USB cable, and uh, mains for that. Yeah, pretty light, that's for sure. So I'm hoping this will sit under the main monitors like you know, in this sort of position and uh, I can just touch and control things from this. Could be a fraction big but uh, yeah nice. It's uh, got a stand on the back and I'm hoping that will allow it to go quite low which it does. The yeah, big problem there is it is super reflective as you can probably see, whether that's got a, no, I don't think it has got any sort of protective cover on it. I mean, it's very nice, it, it is sort of edge to edge. I like I see some marks on there. Has it got a covering on? I'm not sure. So, 21.5 viewable screen, 10 point touch. Now, is that saying it will register 10 different touches? Now, that's interesting. Hmm. Ultra wide viewing angle, not an issue. Uh, 7 inch toughened hard panel surface. Mm, still think it's plastic, it's not a glass panel. HDMI and VGA by the looks of it. Built in stereo speakers, a smart adjustable stand, and Windows 10 compatible. And we've got uh, some control markings here, but uh, no obvious buttons, so I'm guessing that's touch control. Uh, everything is on the back, so we've got display, we've got display port out, uh, HDMI and VGA. That is very nice indeed. Do you like that stand? That feels metal, it's cold, so I think that's a metal stand, and that can go to there. So that is uh, very interesting. It's about the right uh, angle. Just don't like this reflection, that's, I mean, it's like a mirror actually. Hopefully, it won't be quite so bad when it's actually on. But uh, yeah, that is uh, possibly a, an issue. But it looks very well made. That is a metal piece at the front. Yeah, very nice. Not expecting much here. It is just going to be uh, efficiency sticker, what you should have in the box, and a what is that, warranty booklet in 50 different languages. Warranties for two years. I wonder if we can just get anything on screen by uh, just 
just quickly plugging this in. I haven't got anything else I can plug it into on this side of the workshop to get a display up. So let's just plug it in. comes on. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see any of this. And uh, what have we got? Okay, so can you adjust it by touch? No, that looks like it is purely only the Windows feature. You just have to adjust it from here. If we can bring that back up again. Okay. Yeah, so it's up down. And then you get back to the other side. Oh, I see one is exit. Uh, nah, nah. Anyway, size. Yeah, happy with that I think. Quality good. And the fact that I can put it right down like this is uh, the main thing here because I can have multiple panels laid out here, um, autopilot, and whatever else is uh, required, uh, all scalable uh, and in high definition. So hopefully that's going to do the job. And uh, once it's all set up, we'll do another video. But it looks uh, impressive so far.